Hello viewers, welcome to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about curve fitting method. This is going to be a different type of equation, which is y equals to a times e to the power bx. Previously, I have added video on the equation which were for the straight line as well as for parabola. And this, the solution of this type of question is a bit different from those which I have added in the previous video, uh, discussed in the previous video and you can have the link of those video in the description of this video and uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So the solution begins with, let's write down solution and the, let's write down the equation and the equation is y equals to a times e to the power bx and guys here we have exponential in this equation so what we do we take log on both side so let us write it down taking log on both side what we will have log y equals to log a plus log e to the power bx if we remember the uh, formula that is law of indices that is uh, log m times n equals to log m plus log n and we have used the same condition here that is here y equals to a and this is in the product form a times e to the power bx so we have used this we have just split law, applied the law of indices here now again log y equals to log a plus bx log e why so because we have again the law of indices that is log m to the power n equals to n log m power e is written ahead of this log and i have also done this here i have brought this bx which was the power of exponential so bx is brought in front of this log and then it is log e now let us compare this equation with uh, equation of a straight line let us write down here comparing comparing this let it this be equation one comparing equation 1 with capital Y equals to A plus B X now on comparing these two equation let this be equation 2 on comparing these two equation what we will have here capital Y equals to log Y capital A equals to log A and capital B equals to B log E see here guys here we have X and this is X here and B will be equals to B log E now let us rewrite the equation that is Y equals to A plus B X now uh, for curve fitting what we will have here summation y equals to n times a plus b summation x this will be our equation 3 and let us multiply this equation summation y by x then we will have here summation x y equals to a times summation x plus b times summation x square and this is going to be our equation 4 now guys the thing which we need to do now is we need to get the value of summation x summation x square and uh, 
value of capital summation y also and y is our capital y and here in the question we have a small y it now here in the next step we will be drawing a table and if from through that table we will be calculating the value of capital y x square and summation x y so let us learn how to do that step so guys now let us put down the value of x and y which are provided in the question and the value of x are 1 5 7 9 and 2 well and the corresponding value of y for the given value of x is 10 15 2 well 15 21 and if we have a look toward our equation from there we came to know that we will be needing the value of capital y and the capital y equals to log small y now we need to find the value of log y and for that we have the value of y equals to 10 so uh, press log and 10 then we get the value of log 10 equals to 1 which is our the first value of capital Y and again log 15 log 15 will be equals to 1.176 let us write it as 1.18 now log 2 will will be equals to 1.07 9 similarly log 15 log 15 will again be 1.18 1 1.18 and similarly log 21 will be equals to 1.32 and as per the equation we also need to find the equation we also need to find the value of x square and for x square we will have 1 25 49 here it is x and just find the square of these numbers 81 and 144 now we also need the value of sum is oh, sorry small x times capital y and actually we will be needing the value of summation small x capital y and for that we will need to multiply x and capital y from here we will get 1 and on multiplying 1.18 with 5 we will get 5.9 similarly multiplying this with 7 we will get 7.56 here we will get 10.62 and here we will get 15 point eight four so guys here these two are our equation and uh, from here what we came to know that we will be needing the value of summation x summation y so find the value of summation y summation y means we need to add all this value and all adding all this value we will get summation y equals to 5.76 similarly we will getting we will be getting the value of n n means the number of tom and here the number of tom are 5 1 2 3 4 5 so our n will be 5 and summation x means we need to find the value of this summation x which will be equals to 34 similarly summation xy this is our xy column so find the summation xy from here which will be equals to 40.92 now uh, summation x we have calculated summation x square so find summation x square which will be equals to 300 let me close the table and uh, do the final value final solution so guys we have calculated the value of summation y and we already know and the summation x we have calculated summation x y calculated summation x calculated summation x square calculated now put down the value in this uh, of these variables and do rewrite the equation with constants and our equations are going to be 5.76 equals to 5 
a plus b times summation x is 34 let this be equation 5 and again summation x y means 40.92 equals to a times summation x means 34 plus b times summation x square means 300 equation 6 now solve the equation 5 and 6 using calculator so solving equation 5 and 6 using calculator solving equation 1 and 5 and 6 I am solving this by using calculator so let us see how to solve the equation using calculator go to mode 5 and the equation is taking the form constant a is constant b is constant equals to c so uh, press 1 and now put down the value 5 equals to 34 equals to 5.76 equals to I have entered the first equation now enter the second value equation and the a constant of a is 34 so first we need to enter 34 and the constant of b is 300 so 300 equals to 40.92 press again equals to and the first value which we get is is going to be the value of a which is equals to we have a equals to 0 0.978 or we can write it as 0 0.98 similarly if we press again equals to then we will get the value of b which is equals to 0 0.025 now we have calculated the value of capital A and capital B. Now we need to find the value of a small a and a small b. And we have capital A equals to log a small a. And from here we will have a equals to anti log anti log a. And we have b equals to a small b times log e and from here we will have a small b equals to capital B upon log e now put down the value of anti log a means anti log a means how we need to find it this is here let me let's see is carefully see here carefully uh, we have the calculate the value of a and for anti log press shift and this switch press here and we have calculated the value of a which is 0 0.98 enter 0 0.98 now press equals to and from here we will get the value of a small a which will be equals to 9.55 similarly we have got the value of capital B 0 0.25 so divide 0 0.25 sorry 0 0.025 divide by log e and log e means log and shift e shift and then press this ln then we will have here e exponential and e to the power press 1 now press equals to and from here we will get a small b equals to 0 0.057 so our final equation will be final required equation is we had uh, y equals to a times e to the power bx so y equals to a times means 9.55 times e to the power bx means 0.057 x this is our final answer uh, and i hope uh, i have made this equation clear clear to all of you guys and do visit civil learning online for more engineering related stuffs and see you in the next video till then take care and have a nice day